welcome to my small tutorial on doing Krista from Fern Gully with Betsy Claro from Monster High. So getting started, I'm using 100% pure acetone to remove the factory paint. And after I do that, I cut her hair as close to the head as I can and then removed a head to remove the glue and the remaining plugs. painting the scalp black so that it will blend in with the hair for her new hair color. While that dries, I start on the base. I use a hot glue gun and glue reindeer moss I found at Walmart and just glue it everywhere. I stack a little more on the sides to give it depth, and then I add an array of fake flowers I had. I arrange them first and then glue them down to make sure it was how I wanted it. After brushing out and flat ironing acrylic yarn wefts, I plug them into the head and then use rubber tack inside. Start the body blushing by using blue on her feet and then move on to sanding her body with a nail sanding sponge to help give it more tooth. I used blue on her feet to show the effect of when she flies in the movie. I also blushed her knees, stomach, back, chest, and neck.
moving on to the clothing, I just use regular red felt. And here I'm mixing a bunch of colors to see what color gives the effect I want for the, the different colors on her skirt. I think it's a flower petal. And I just painted it on. Um, I thought I filmed sewing her skirt, but all I see is the footage for the top, so I'm not sure what happened there. But basically I just cut out two triangles and only sewed like an inch on the side, basically where her hips are and then just cut the rest out. So I cut the shapes and I cut the shapes on top too. And then I tried to sew the top down, but that didn't work very well. So I ended up using Fabri-Tac and that actually worked really great. So for her top, I took two square pieces of felt and pinned them in place and then I just kind of cut it to the shape that I wanted. I also sewed it the right sides together and for the sides and for the top of the shoulder. And I just kept tweaking it by cutting it. She has two holes in the back for her wings and so I made sure to keep that clear because I'm actually going to insert the wings in there later. And I cut the jagged edges on the bottom to give it the look it's supposed to have. And then at the end, I decided to make sure it fit more correctly. I ended up cutting it down the middle of the back and sewing two pieces of Velcro so I can make it a bit more fitted and snug. I kept the face up very simple um, because the animation and her, she's very simple, she's very natural, supposed to be in the forest, you know, kind of thing. And so I did do the blushing all over to give her some color variation, but I tried to keep it really light handed. Um, I think I did go a little bit hard on the cheek blushing though. But then I, I still feel it was really simple, really easy, and didn't take me too long. It was actually really nice. I feel like she's actually a really easy doll to make. Um, so adding those little extra details everywhere makes it worth it.
did have a really hard time filming this. Uh, I feel like my hand was always in the way or I wasn't really getting the shots I wanted. So I'm going to have to try to rethink my setup a little bit. So I'm really sorry about that. But um, at least in between you can kind of see her progress. But like I said, she's really simple. It's like black lines for the eyes, uh, green eyes. She doesn't really have anything underneath. Black eyebrows. It's super simple, super easy. Red lips. So hopefully it is enough of a tutorial. <laughs> So it was really cool to do the wings. Um, I saw Delightful do it for her Amanita tutorial and uh, it was really enjoyable. So I got some of my own. I hadn't really ever heard of this stuff before, but I got like a little pack on Amazon and I tried it for the first time and I think it turned out great. So um, I'm gonna leave a link to her video down below, but I'm sure you all know her, but just to show that she like did a really great tutorial on it because this, this was bomb. After I finished the wings, I took them and bent them at an angle with epoxy sculpt to go into the back of her and I just kind of sculpted that in a little bit to really firm it in place because the wire that the wings are attached from are just going to be the part that can move up and down. I didn't want too much mobility because she didn't really need it, she's not really going to be doing much, she's just going to be posing a little bit. Her wings are usually kind of up anyway, and I can kind of move them back and forth and a little up and down, not too much, so um, it just worked out perfectly, so I just let that sit for a couple days. And so finally I can do the hair and do some styling and honestly it was actually kind of hard because her hair is so stylized. I thought that yarn would make it a lot easier but even then like it was still kind of weird. Um, and I ended up having to put plastic wrap over it to kind of flatten it because her hair just wanted to puff out so much since I didn't really do like a boil wash or anything. I don't think you can do that with this. So um, what I did was I did the initial shaping with scissors and also some hair gel to kind of give me the shapes I wanted and then I put it under the plastic wrap for a couple days and then after the plastic wrap came up I was able to style it and get it to where I wanted it to be because it was laying flatter now and just kind of puff it up a little bit and get the shape I needed.
for the final touch, I actually add the gloss varnish. I kind of forgot to do that with her face up. So that's what I ended up doing. I'm sorry, you can see my head in the frame. And then I stick her all back together and she's finally done.